Okay, this is my CPU, and I will turn it on now. I hope that this will work. All right, shell zero. It's a recent instruction. I will only concentrate on this part, where uh, the instructions will be uh, visible. Now it runs the recent instruction. Now we have C6, which is the load accumulator A instruction. It does this for a while. The next instruction is A1. It is the compare instruction. And now we have 26, which is the which is the branch if not the equal instruction or B and E. And here we have C7, which is the store accumulator A instruction. And then we have C6, which is once again a load accumulator A instruction. And here we have a 1 again, STA. And we have 2, 6 again, B and E. And now we have C7, STA. And here we have a special function called the jump instruction. It is CC. Now it begins to happen quite fun stuff. It actually jumps later on, but not to the correct address. Look at this. Now it goes to C7, and the address is 9012, or actually 1. I was uh, too slow. And it does this over and over again. As you can see now, we have CC again. The next instruction will probably be C7. Yes, C7. So it does this all the time. Um, but something uh, quite fun also happens. It shouldn't happen, but it does. It is that it sometimes rise to the IO output. Now I latched in a value here into the system. It's just a copy of what I have tuned in with my BCD switches. And hopefully we will see something at the output here soon. Should I see it there? There, we have something at the output. And it should mimic the input, of course, but something is wrong with the, the least significant bit. And it's probably me uh, wire wrapping wrongly. Because you can see at the data bus output that the value from the CPU, CPLD, actually is 9, 1. Uh, if we wait for a while here, we could, I could perhaps show you this. Nine one, but something is wrong from there to there. But this means that data is going into the CPD 
and data is going out. So uh, much of the CPU works. Um, and I thank you for this.